It's great to have you here today. Let me walk you through a series of drills, very simple drills you can follow right along that make the weight shift so easy. And here's the deal. In the golf swing, if your weight shift isn't correct, you're gonna feel like it's almost impossible to sync up your body and what your arms and your club are doing. It's gonna feel like they're fighting each other. But once I get this weight shift correct, it's gonna feel like I'm moving the momentum of my body through the golf ball. I'm having the swing of my arms and the weight shift of my body timed up to where now I feel like I can deliver the force through the golf ball and everything is just working together. And the best news is I can make this happen really easy when you follow along with this progression. So grab a club, let's go and get started. All right, so first let's talk about what exactly is the weight shift. Well, let me go through the technical jargon. I'll get all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, and then let's jump right in and make it easy. So the first thing is to understand what do we really want to have happen. In all great golf swings, there is a pressure shift or a weight shift to the right foot very early in the swing. I like to think of it as the weight shift almost starts before you start to move the club back. So that weight goes into the right side, then you're gonna to begin to swing that club back. You'll notice with me, you'll see a trigger that I do every single swing. I don't even realize I do this, but I actually lift up, I kind of tap my left foot, my left toe, and that's actually my trigger to get my weight kind of moving to the right to start my swing. So that's what's gonna happen in every single swing. So notice on this swing, I'm gonna to begin to shift my weight to the right, and then you're gonna see me make my back swing. So let's go ahead and try this one out. There we go, that weight went to the right early, and then I can transfer through the ball when I'm doing that. So let me go ahead and walk through the rest of the swing now, what exactly happens. So the weight shift to the right is the trigger. If you try to eliminate that weight shift, it's a big mistake. If I try to keep my weight very centered and not shift, now it feels like I'm fighting against what my body and my arms are doing. So my club is swinging back, I'm kind of artificially trying to keep my weight in the center of my stance, and then it feels like I'm gonna fall back this way when I start my downswing. You don't wanna fall back this way and have to push across your body. It can be a little bit more difficult than things have to be. So don't stay centered in the takeaway. Get my weight moving right early. Now once you get to the, about halfway back, your weight's actually gonna be shifting a little bit to the left. I wanna get my weight feeling like it's starting to go left and I feel like I get a little pressure in my left foot and then I make my downswing. So the advantage of that is that if I feel like my weight is shifting left, now all my momentum is moving through the golf ball as I make my downswing. So I feel like my weight is moving to the left as my arms and club are moving to the left and it's a very heavy hit. So I feel like my body momentum and my arms and club are all transferring through that golf ball. And as I finish my swing, I'm gonna be balanced completely over my left leg. All my weight is on my left side, and I really just feel like I'm standing here looking down the target. So it's not anything where my, my body and my arms are ever disjointed. In the back swing, as my arms swing to the right, my weight shift goes to the right. In the down swing, as I wanna begin swinging to the left, I shift my weight left, and then everything comes down and through, finishing nice and balanced over my left leg. That's what makes things easy. So now let's go ahead and let's walk through a progression to make this really, really simple for you. All right, so grab a club, grab a broom, whatever you have, any kind of stick, umbrella, doesn't matter. You're gonna be able to get this down. So I'm gonna start out with my stance and I'm gonna actually feel like I'm swinging a baseball bat here. So I'm just gonna go to the top of my swing I'm gonna feel like I make a step like you would in baseball. And when you step, what happens is you're unweighting this lead foot. When my lead foot's in the air, where's all my weight? It's on my right foot. Same as in a golf swing. As I load up that, that front foot, as it barely comes off the ground, my right side is loaded up. I'm getting to the top of my swing. Now when I swing down, we're gonna do a little modified baseball swing here where we plant on our left foot and swing in baseball, you stay back a little bit more like this. We're gonna go ahead and let everything come around all the way to our front foot. So everything's nice and balanced over my left foot when I make this little swing. So just like that, go ahead and act like you're hitting a baseball from a pitcher. I'm gonna take a little step, shift left, and then swing through that. So I almost feel like all my body momentum and the swing are moving through the hit. Then all I'm gonna do is go do it and do the same thing I'm just gonna angle it down to what would be the golf ball. Let's get rid of the golf ball for now. We'll add it in here in a second. 
and I'm gonna feel like I do my baseball swing now, unweight my lead foot, that gets everything loaded up. I'm in a really powerful position. And then as I step, I'm gonna then swing down. So it's step, my weight starts to shift to the left, then I make my downswing. The mistake that I'll see a lot of players do is they'll start the downswing and then try to shift left. It gets all disjointed. You have to get left, then make your downswing to be able to get through the golf ball. So now, again, let's tilt it down toward the golf ball here. I'm gonna aim at this tee. I'm gonna do the same thing. A little baseball swing, start from here, step, my weight shifts, then I swing down. So it's gonna look just like this when I, when I take the pause out. Notice how I'm finishing with all my weight going toward the target. If you wanna exaggerate a little bit, you could even do a little Gary Player. You know, I'm gonna step and then come on through with my right foot so everything is really going through the shot. Now, in reality, I know you're not gonna do that when you're really hitting a golf ball, but we're just trying to get the momentum moving through the shot. Now, once you're comfortable with that, let's go ahead and make this into a real swing with a little mini step starting from the address position. So here, I've gotten used to getting that momentum moving through the ball. Let's do another drill that makes it even easier. I'm gonna set up to this golf ball, or what would be a golf ball. I'm gonna put my feet a little bit closer together here, and then I'm going to step in my backswing. My weight's gonna go left, then I'm gonna swing down. So if I do this correctly, it's gonna look just like this. Step, weight left, and then swing all the way on through. Let me do that again. And you can see how the momentum of my body is going through the hit. Let me try that again. There you go, you can see how that would actually add a decent amount of energy into that shot. Now with that particular drill, the mistake that I always see is that when players make that step, they wait until the downswing, then they try to step. Remember, I have to shift my weight left, then I swing down and I'm finishing over my left side. So do about 10 or 15 of those until you really feel comfortable with it. Then we're gonna do the same thing, just hitting a golf ball. So we're gonna take out the step, but we're gonna keep the same sequencing. We're gonna keep that same weight shift, where now I feel like a little weight on the right as I go back, I'm gonna shift left, and then I'm gonna swing through. So the real, the real key here, what you're trying to get down, is that as your momentum is moving to the left, you get it left, and then you hit through the shot so your weight is all the way coming through there. So once you're comfortable with that, that makes the weight shift really easy. It's as simple as starting right, get the weight left, then make your downswing. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. There we go, get the weight shift down. It'll make it a whole lot easier to be consistent. Now, once you get this weight shift drill down, you're gonna feel like your body, your hands, your arms, your club, everything's synced up like I talked about. But what adds that even more is when you get that whip of the club through contact. And that can only come if you have a good angle of lag as you start your downswing. Once I get that weight shifting left, I'm creating more and more lag, and then I'm releasing that through the golf ball. That's how you're gonna get tons of really easy speed. So if you can pair up a great weight shift, so your momentum is moving through the shot, and you can pair up this great lag and release of the golf club through the shot, you're gonna play your best golf. I'm gonna play a preview of my best lag video. It's gonna help you to get more lag right away. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen or the link down below in the description. You'll get instant access to that and you can start pairing up that weight shift drill that makes you so much more consistent with the lag drill that gives you so much more effortless power. So best of luck and I can't wait to show you the secrets of lag. Let's go ahead and get started now. All right, so let's jump right in to one of my favorite videos I've ever done on lag. One of the ones I've seen the best results with and we'll talk in a minute why this is called Pirate Ship, but it's really a play on a wide, narrow, wide drill or a wide, narrow throw drill that I've done in the past and have tons of success with. So if in the backswing, my club head kind of at parallel to the ground was say a good five, six, maybe even seven feet away from the center of my body. In the downswing, it's much closer to my body. That's the narrowing part because I have this big angle of lag. And then I throw all that out in front, really let those arms extend and I go wide again. Now, a lot of times I'll see players misinterpret this drill and they take a really good drill that's having tons of success and they do it the wrong way and really struggle with it, feel like a lot of hands and arms. So if you've done this drill in the past and you feel a little bit out of sequence, you feel like your hands and arms just aren't working right, I bet this is exactly what you did. So when you're going wide in the backswing, that's all good. Most people get that correct. You really gotta rotate the body. 
But when they narrow, the misrepresentation that a lot of players will have is they'll narrow up the arms, not the club head that we want to narrow, but they'll misinterpret this drill as narrowing the arms and they'll do something like this. I want you to think of your arms as a pirate ship. Here's what I mean by that. You've probably been to an amusement park before where they have one of these big giant pirate ships. Everybody's packed on there in these seats. And then the pirate ship is down at the bottom. There's a big arm. And then that arm starts swinging back and forth just like a pendulum, right? And the ship goes back and forth. Well, the cool thing about this that you can relate to your golf swing